Andrea in Salt Lake City, what do you think here? Uh, I think it's amazing that a federal agency actually did uh, someone's job for change. <laughs> uh, you know, on the tenth try. Yeah. Well, I feel bad for this guy in the sense that he was lulled into a false sense of security by the state of New York and then entered federal property where there's different rules. That's what I'm looking for, Andrea. I do, too. You know what? That's it. Part of this is on officials within this country, maybe not federal officials and, you know, probably somewhat feds, but... New York officials who gave him a false sense of security. Andrea, that's the sympathy I'm looking for. It's not all on him. It is the fault of de Blasio and Brooklyn. This is Tom Shalhoub. We'll be back. Pizza delivery man facing deportation after delivering to Brooklyn military base. I'm asking you what should happen to this guy. He's now in custody, ICE custody, and it looks like he's going to be deported. He was under an order of deportation for years, but he settled and got a good sense of security here in Brooklyn, working as a pizza delivery guy. His wife says he's delivered many pizzas to this Brooklyn military base. Why now? And I want to ask you if you have sympathy for him. Andrea from Salt Lake City had an interesting take. She said that her sympathy might come from the fact that he was given a false sense of security. Yes, yes, that's what I think as well. Marty in Springfield, Missouri. Yeah, hi, Tom. Hi, Marty. Um, I'll give you a little bit of the sympathy you've been looking for, uh, but just from the one human being to another yeah. aspect. I mean, you can't help but feel sorry for him, in, in, you know, from that standpoint. Uh, but in the end, and also, I guess, a little bit of what Andrea is saying, the government being complicit in it. Yeah. 